Hello, this is David White with Passage Theatre, and Lauren Weedman is back this year to kick off this year's Soul of Lights Festival. For those of you who saw Lauren last year in her performance of Bust, she's going to do Bust again this year, March 5th, 6th, and 7th, and then she's going to hang around for another week to do her new show called No You Shut Up. And for those of you that remember Lauren from last year, you remember she does these hilarious one-woman shows. She is a veteran of Off-Broadway. She was a regular on The Daily Show. And just this past year, she was in Imagine That with Eddie Murphy and just shot Date Night with Steve Carell and Tina Fey and can be seen on the TV show Hung. So I've got Lauren on the phone here. And um, Lauren, tell us a little bit about Bust. Bust is about when I was um, I was volunteering in the L.A. County Jail for women, mm-hmm. as one does. And during, uh, so I was doing that, and I did think, okay, I because I, I, I write a lot um, based on my own life experience. Right. And so when I started volunteering, everybody was like, you know, way to go to go get material, Lauren. Like, everybody was on me that I was doing it to get material, which wasn't necessarily the case, kind of. Um, I mean, I, I, I figured there'd be something that would, I figured it'd be an inspiring or at least an impacting environment, but it, um, I didn't know if, if I'd end up doing a play about it or not or whatever. I did know that I wanted to volunteer just to get my life out of the zone of doing everything that was just about, like, career and, and weight loss. Because literally, I was like, my day was divided up in... And if, if it wasn't... It, I didn't even answer phone calls. If I had voicemail messages, I would be like, if it wasn't a voicemail message that was either career-related or, like, let's go on a walk and burn fat, I would, like, skip, skip, skip... Um, so I wanted to volunteer to get a little more, I don't know, uh, something that mattered, it seemed, at the time uh, in my life. So it's based on that. It's based on my experience of volunteering. And, um, and then while I was volunteering, I ended up writing an article for Glamour Magazine, as one does, again, um, hmm. and uh, about something that happened to me when I was younger. I don't know if I should say what it was, though, right now. That's fine. They can come to the show and see it. No, I don't want to say it in the show, too. I think I'm going to cut that part. I'm just kidding. It's personal. Why does everybody have to get up in my business? <laughs> Why should I say it now if they haven't bought a ticket? No, I just all want to save some, you yeah, know. Of course, of course. Crazy suspense. I know people are going to be like, well, I wasn't going to go see the show, but I've got to know what was the Glamour Magazine article. No, well, they'll well, find out. To the show. Make yeah, exactly. them buy tickets. But, here, yeah. but this is a good thing, though. So, like... Your work and this show, and it's not just about the women that uh, are in the prison who you visit, but also about you. This show, like a lot of your others, is is very personal and has some really intensely personal uh, things in it. Um, yeah, you know, I was. Oh, sorry, that was sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm done. You I'm you respond to that now. You edit that fight out. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I was going to say that. Yeah, it is. Initially, when I was after I got done with some of the the work in there, well, I, I signed all the confidentiality stuff, so it's not like I went in there doing like an Anna Devere Smith, where I set up a tape recorder and just right, right. you know asking women their experiences, and I was just going to do a monologue, the monologue, you know. I um, but I thought, well, I'll do a show about um, incarcerated women or this concept of being a bad woman or whatever, and I'm not going to make this one about me because I always do shows um, that are really personal, and I was like, I'll get away from that. Um, and then, once again, I ended up just being, I felt like I couldn't get away from that. Like, I couldn't tell the stories without telling the perspective, about showing what was going on with me. Because I thought it would, that was so, it, it so impacted how I heard the women, you know. Right, right. Um, so, uh, anyway, I, I ended up putting myself in the one show that I was hoping would not be about me. Like, when I, go into, when I went to the jails, I was like, I'm here because I want to do something that's not about me. And I want to do when I was writing the play. It's like, it'll be not about me. And then I do a solo show where I'm the star about me. Right. But it's also about the other women, too. Well, yeah. You well, know? you play multi- How many characters do you play in this piece? Do you, 975. You know? Really? Really? You've counted? Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Like, That's incredible. I'm some kind of crazy chameleon. No, um, I don't... Play, <laughs> and each one of them has I their own know. character? Yeah. Yeah, everybody... Yeah, I do. I think characters that I count. I don't actually do them on stage, but I'll have a flash of a character. I'm like, I thought of them. I can write it down as another one I do. Right. Um, no, I I don't know. I think maybe there's there's like 15 or 20 or something. I'm not really sure. Cause okay, so that's Bust. Now, tell us a little bit about this uh, new show that you're working on. Um, well, the new show, well, and I'll say, what I, what, when I was first working on it, as you said, it was like about, oh, it's about me dealing with the issues around family, and that just didn't really quite, you know, 
when it comes to PR, people aren't like, you know, well, I love family or whatever. Um, let's go see it. Um, uh, and it's the same kind of show in the sense of bus in, 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 the, in the sense that it's a multiple character. Um, it moves pretty quick, uh, as bus does, and it's, it's a comedy um, with some darker themes. And although the basics are, yeah. when I was younger, um, I, uh, I'm adopted, and um, I was adopted when I was younger. I'm not anymore. No, um, I was adopted when I was younger, when I was a baby, and um, growing up, I used to play with this kid down the street from me, and this is the real story. I sort of, I changed it a bit in the play, but the right, real story right. is that I changed, I used to play with this kid down the street named uh, Fritz. We right. called him Foster Kid Fritz, not to his face. And, and this is a story, Foster by the way, that's in your book, Woman Trapped in Woman's yeah. Body, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, okay, yeah. good. Got that I, in there. I did talk a lot for some reason. And it's funny, that's why I ended up wanting to write a play about it, because I seem to use it a lot in describing what's wrong with me and other things. It seems to come up. Right. Because it's one little... Because it, uh, Fritz used to go over and play, and there was one day when he came over, and my dad had this big jar of pennies next to his bed, and I told Fritz that he could take as many pennies as he wanted because that's what my dad's wish was. He wished for all to have as many pennies as they could. So Fritz went home to his foster mom. He's got all these pennies in his pocket. His mom gets mad at him. Um, or asked him where he, took the, where he got the pennies from. And he said that I told him he could have them. She calls my mom. So the foster mom calls my mom and says, is it right? Was Fritz told he's allowed to take these pennies? So my mom asked me, did you tell Fritz he could take those pennies and I was like oh no like I completely sold them do you sell them down the river or up the river you sold uh, them up the river yeah either or either or across the river I sold them across the river this is a different I'm artsy like that I don't do up, I don't do up or down no, I no, no. yeah yeah I think it's the other side though but never mind sold them up the river um, I, t I turned them in it was like I didn't tell him he could take those pennies and so he got um, uh, and he got in trouble and then later on that week I asked if Fritz come over again, and my mom was like, oh, he can't come over anymore because Fritz got sent back. And it hadn't occurred to me that you could get sent back. And he got sent back to his, like, a, you know, back to the home. Like right, home. right. So I sort of lived in terror of the fact that, and I thought that being a foster kid was the same thing as being adopted. Right. Like, I didn't know there was a difference. And we always thought that we were the same thing. We were always like, we are whatever. That's why we thought we played together. Is that right, we were, right. We had been grouped together because of our... <laughs> And, and have you been in touch with Fritz at all? Um, uh, no, I have no sense. idea. I haven't seen him since that day that I believe I got him sent back. And again, I don't know that it was really me that got him sent back. But um, So that's an aspect of the show. And then right. I sort of go into the fact of it's, it's as if I were to meet Fritz. Ah, very good. Once again, we are extremely excited to, to have you back. And I'm going to say the dates again so that people get it. Bust is showing March 5th, 6th, and 7th. That's a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday at 8, 8, and 3. And then March 12th, 13th, and 14th, the next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is No, You Shut Up. Do you have to say the title like that? Um, I, it's, either way, I find it entertaining. So I like when people say it with no emotion at all. They're like, and then you're doing No, You Shut Up at the, or I'm like, well, you could give it a little bit of, yeah, you, you know. Can, right, right, right. I think that no, You have a good pause in there, though. That's good. No. Well, it's there in the ellipsis. You put that in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can sound as angry as you want. Or yeah, definitely. Have fun with it. Have <laughs> fun with it. <laughs> right. Thank you, Lauren Weedman. Thank you, David White. Thank you. And once again, Passage Theater Solo Flights Festival for 2010 kicks off on March 5th, 6th, and 7th with Lauren Weedman in Bust and the following week uh, with her show No You Shut Up. For more information, call 609-392-0766 or check out our website at www.passagetheater.org. We will see you at the Mill Hill Playhouse.